Well, you know, there was this video that I did some time ago about ramps. Because with a wheelchair comes a ramp, <laughs> usually. <laughs> it's, you know, it's too bad that they don't come together. <coughs> and it just depends if you're in an apartment or if you're, again, it depends. It depends if you're in an apartment, then you go through the landlord. It depends if you own your own home. Uh, the process would be different. Uh, so if you're in a group home, the process would be different. So uh, there are resources everywhere. So, you know, I looked into it just a little bit more uh, to see if I could squeeze out some more information. And it did give me more information about Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, let me see, where is it? Uh, there we go. Okay. So there's this uh, page I found called uh, Easy Access. So it gives all kinds of information about ramps. So this one gave a little bit more information about Medicare or Medicaid, which is important uh, because sometimes we really want the insurance to cover it. But uh, here is uh, some information for Medicare. There are two parts to Medicare, which we know is a part A, which is hospital, and part B, which is medical insurance. So wheelchair ramps fall under the category of durable medical equipment covered by part B, uh, just like a wheelchair. However, uh, a wheelchair ramp is not reimbursable like a wheelchair is. Even if the physician prescribes it as medically necessary, this is because wheelchair ramps do not directly treat a medical condition. Kind of silly, yeah? However, you may be able to receive financial assistance through Medicare Advantage plans, which not all of us have, uh, but Medicare Advantage plans. So they might help you so in their, in their different plans are required to provide the same benefits as Part A and Part B as original Medicare or traditional Medicare, but may also offer additional coverage. These plans are only offered by private insurers, uh, so they differ by company, plan, and location. You'll need to ask the, a private insurance agent specifically about them, their Medicare Advantage policies to determine financial uh, assistance policies and compare coverage. So, so that's Medicare. Didn't say a whole lot, did it? <laughs> so, but know that if you have a, a Medicare Advantage plan, you need to check in with them to see if they'll help in the reimbursement of a ramp. Now, here's Medicaid. Wheelchair ramps are classified as durable medical equipment, okay, under Medicaid as well. This is a federal program for low-income seniors and individuals with disabilities and is administered at the state level. So, policies will also vary from uh, by state. There are two ways to obtain coverage for a wheelchair ramp under Medicaid. One is regular Medicaid. I don't know if they're talking about straight Medicaid, but that's one way. Uh, and the second one is home and community-based services. Um, I'm not sure if they're referring to county services, but that could be. Uh, there, so this HCBS waiver, waivers, regular Medicaid guarantees benefits for qualified individuals. <laughs> qualified individuals, I don't know what they mean by that. That means that a wheelchair ramp can be covered by Medicaid if it is deemed medically necessary. Okay. While possible, it is generally very difficult to get a wheelchair ramp ruled as medically necessary. The better option for Medicaid likely going to be an HCBS waiver. In many states, Medicaid waivers pay for the cost of the ramps as they are considered home modifications or environmental adaptations. See a state-by-state -state list 
for Medicaid waivers and their benefits. So I'm putting this page uh, down below, the link down below, so you can kind of look at it. Also, there are non-for-profits uh, that assist. Some will do it for free. So I have a page here for all the states and all the volunteer organizations that will put in a ramp. And, you know, it takes them a couple of months because their schedule is full. So um, I will put the, that link down below so you can go to your state and see what's available. If you are thinking, you know, of getting a wheelchair or you just can't handle steps anymore, that uh, you would need a ramp. So, so it's not impossible is what I'm saying. It's just that you need to go to the right group, either through insurance or volunteers. Um, so that is just a little bit more information that I gave in the last video uh, because <coughs> I hadn't come across Medicare, Medicaid uh, <coughs> benefits, and that, that is important. So um, all these links are full of information. There are supported charities. National Ramp is committed. So National Ramp is, is, has a ton of information there. Uh, National Ramp information came from the United Spinal Association. So thank you for them for posting this information. Then there's Wheelchair Ramps for Life of Freedom. So they have a page uh, full of information. I don't know if it's, it looks like it might be for a cost, but that's nationalramp.org. Then we have providing freedom, independence, and accessibility. And I think that's for the US, yeah. <coughs> Operation Ramp, it's up. Let's say Operation Ramp It Up is a 501. C3 non-for-profit, which builds ramps for those with mobility issues, and that's throughout the United States. So they're um, really sponsored by Kroger, the store. So Kroger Community Rewards Program Partnership. <coughs> so they also help a lot with building ramps. We recycle our ramps to another home when they are no longer needed. So. I'm sure they gather materials and uh, other support to build uh, ramps. So uh, that's an important one to have. And then there's the www.ramps.org. And that has a full list of state-by-state -state organizations that can build a ramp for free. So it's uh, www.ramps.org, working to create access for everyone. So whether your insurance covers it or not, somebody will um, help you out. So that's, that's what I'm saying about how important it is to look around, check things out, and see who can help. And again, the volunteers just have a schedule that's full, so it might not be right away. If you're a person who thinks that you know you can afford it, or that your family says, no, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll cover it. That would be fine too. <laughs> and then it'll happen much quicker that way. It's unfortunate, but you know, it can. The, the issue with this is that insurance will sort of cover it. And that's the problem of the word sort of. So you really have to dig into your insurance and see um, if they are willing or not. Does it treat an illness? They're saying it doesn't directly treat an illness. <laughs> I don't know how they come up with that conclusion, but that's what they're saying. <clears throat> so, in, you know, in, in all of this, for ramps, they're always putting pe pictures of elderly, you know, and we know that it's, we, you know, there's a lot of people of, all kinds of ages and, and shapes and sizes who end up in wheelchairs. So it's not just the elderly. So that's really important to put it out there that some children are in wheelchairs, youth are in wheelchairs, young adults are in wheelchairs. It's not only the elderly. So 
um, I think we need to repicture this picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> so people know that a lot of people, anyone, can end up in a wheelchair and need a ramp for their home. So, so that's really important for people to know that people needing a ramp is for anyone, any size, any shape, <laughs> any color, uh, so it doesn't cover just one specific type of person. So I just wanted to put this out there again because I think it's, it's good to have it on top and for people to say, oh, yeah, no, my cousin is having issues or my, um, you know, my mom, we have to carry her down or, you know, my neighbor, we have to all five of us go down over there and bring her out of the house so she can go X, Y, Z. So getting a ramp is really crucial uh, for anyone. So um, here is the resources for that. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll investigate a little bit more so that people uh, can, can get the help they need. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I am uh, requesting, as usual, the, uh, for people to subscribe and to like and to comment, to share. And uh, if you have a resource in XYZ state, you know, in XYZ country, please feel free to share it. You know, people come from different countries here on the channel to take a look. So feel free to uh, share your information or your experience uh, to help others, you know, get the, the ramps that they need. All right, people, glad you came. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.